Good morning, Brooks. This is on, yeah. Oh, there we go. All right, nice, nice. All right. I'm here today talking with you on behalf of an issue which has plagued the melanin rich for centuries. Few issues have been able to reach across society, even in its most divided versions. And today, we will explore this issue together. Ashiness, something which affects us all but has been uniquely addressed and in some cases even solved through the experience of the melanin rich in America. You may look around and wonder who among us hasn't experienced the vexation of dry, ashy skin. It's itchy, it's uncomfortable, and in some extreme cases can feel leathery to the touch. If you're wondering what it may look like, ashy is a literal descriptor for skin, which takes on the tone and cons consistent with someone who maybe got in trouble at school and was sentenced to dusting the chalkboard erasers, or someone who decided to dress up as the fossilized remains of someone caught in the eruption of Pompeii, or simply someone too close to a sneezing scarface. Oxford defines ashy as of pale grayish color, ashen, covered with, consisting of, or resembling ashes. In the US, in African American usage, skin that is dry and with a gray or whitish appearance. This is not unique to the American experience, or even solely to the experience of the melanin rich. This is a human issue, and one that is more than skin deep. In reality, Ashiness can indicate many things about a person, such as social and economic status, life and intellectual choices, whether they're in need of some good old self-care, and can even give insights into someone's cultural background. In the wintertime, it feels as though ashiness is constantly stalking you, and when you're least expecting it, often on laundry day, it ravishes your ankles and elbows. However, despite the diligent, year-long crusade against ashiness, modern media, some of whom are in the dark about the scourge of ashiness on the melanin-rich citizens of the world, has worked hard to normalize and even commercialize ashiness. Famous athletes, such as Kevin Durant, have turned ashiness into a meme and even gone as far as to scapegoat the ashiness through burner accounts. Commercials. Commercials have turned ashiness into something only a medicated ointment can solve. And for some reason, they think the best comp for dry human skin is an alligator. I have yet to understand that. And lastly, satirical comedies from the mid-2000s tried to turn ashiness into a character trait on its own. And while being hilarious, this did not help in the war against ash. These depictions of ashiness only work to normalize the plague that has affected our community, the community of humanity for lifetimes. Humans have been in a heated conflict against ashiness since 3000 BC, when the first fossilized moisturizers were found in ancient Sumerians and ancient Egyptian cultures. Since then, our ashy defensive ha defenses have increased in efficacy and variety. But I stand before you, studied the SAPR metrics and the advanced analytics, and came up with a definitive top five list of our allies against ashiness. At number five, a foundational lotion found in any adequate American household's ash-fighting cachet, Jergens. Number four is a, another staple of the fight against ash, slightly watery, but still generally effective, Vaseline Cocoa Radiant. Go ahead and shout it out if you, if you use one of these. Don't hide. Last, number three, or number three, is an underrated protector, Nivea. A little bit watery, but still highly effective. Number two, the originator, the ultimate weapon in the fight against ashiness. This is basically the Thanos of moisturizing your skin, raw shea butter. This product is most effective out of a Chinese food restaurant style takeout plastic container, usually bought at an essential body oils and herb store. You get a bonus point if they do in-house tarot readings at that particular location. Feel free to grab one. Lastly, number one, now this. This is the Goldilocks of moisturizers. Not too thick like a petroleum jelly or a raw shea butter, but not too watery like the Vaseline Cocoa Radiance we previously talked about. You need something with the right amount of viscosity, which can form a coagulant seal, which keeps ashiness out, 
and moisture in something like Palmer's cocoa butter. Yes. My friends, my colleagues, my students, now you know the truth about ashiness, and you know the tools to fight it. All that's left is to join together, put down our differences, and make sure no one, no matter where they fall on the melanin spectrum, goes ashy again. Thank you, Brooks.